Today I will guide you through the calibration process of the Kicker Power Trainer. Before we begin, we will need a few things. We will need the Kicker. We will need the Kicker Calibration Kit, consisting of a calibration weight, a calibration arm. In addition, we will need an Apple Eye device with the Kicker Calibration app installed. This process is very, very delicate. Please proceed with caution. Let's prepare the kicker for the calibration process. The preparation steps include making sure the kicker is on a stable surface, that the legs have been leveled, and that the kicker has been placed in the mountain bike 26 inch road 700 C height setting. Last, we will want to make sure the kicker has been plugged into power. The app will search for any kickers within its range. We see that the, kick, the app has found one kicker. We select this kicker. The first step of the calibration process begins. We tap start calibration. Proceed to the next step. This step involves installing the calibration arm. This step may not seem intuitive the first time. So I'm going to help guide you through this process. The calibration arm has an arrow and it also has a prong that sticks out on the arm. Both of these help guide the installation of the arm. Let's proceed. The prong is inserted into one of the holes on this plastic cover on the kicker flywheel back plate. It will only fit in the outer row of holes on the back plate. So, we line the arm up, see that it slots into one of the holes, and then we check to make sure the arrow is pointing to the screw that holds the cover onto the back plate. We see that the arrow is pointing to the screw. If we had installed it incorrectly, the arrow no longer points to the screw. So let's go ahead and shift this back to the correct hole. And then another way to check that the arm is installed correctly is the arm is parallel to the surface the kicker is sitting on. We also want to make sure that the calibration arm is resting on this metal plate and not on the flywheel, the moving flywheel. We want it to not be sitting here and we want to attempt to avoid having it sit on the plastic cover as well. For the most accurate calibration, make sure that the arm is resting only on the metal plate. The app provides instructions for installing the arm as well as detailed drawings showing the arm installed. Proceed to the next step. Proceed to the next step, and now we install the calibration weight. We want to gently install the weight. We don't want to damage any of the sensitive components contained inside the kicker. The weight installed, we proceed, and we start step two of the calibration. Tap start calibration. This step is complete. Tap next. We gently remove the calibration weight. We place this aside, proceed to the third step of the calibration process, tap start calibration. This step is complete. We now remove the calibration arm. Tap next. The last step is to perform a spin down on the kicker. I'm going to skip this step. You can skip this step as well. However, it is very important that you perform a spin down at the beginning of your next ride to complete the calibration process. The kicker has been calibrated. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at wahoo.com at wahoofitness.com. Thank you.